In April 2001, I moved to Oxford, and within days of my arriving, I had a call from the director of the eScience program saying he would like to set up an e -science, a national eScience center here in Oxford. I used to meet on a fairly regular basis with some of the other people who were doing what eventually became known as eScience, and I met Anne. Um, and we began to conceive of the idea of a, a center that brought together a whole series of very diverse scientific ventures, um, but which had uh, a set of common mathematical and computational cores. I wanted us to be the best uh, interdisciplinary centre based on innovative technology. Um, I had worked with colleagues at Harvard, they were, they'd set up a centre there, and um, I wanted us to be better than what they were doing. Now I have to say they had a huge amount of investment from the university and we were a little bit short on that. Um, but we did have a building and we had a very committed um, initial core group who are all here still, um, who helped us do that. So um, I think we met our aspirations. Oxford took a very significant step in the eScience programme by, by doing that early rebranding to e-research. So the e-science program, when it was conceived, um, didn't include the Arts and Humanities Research Council because there wasn't an Arts and Humanities Research Council. Uh, and, and then that, they came on board and the e-science program was genuinely across all disciplines, but people didn't rename it from e-science, except here, uh, it became e-research. Having an interdisciplinary approach to um, an institute really allows sometimes old ideas to have a new uh, life in them. We had a number of projects here where we've brought engineers together with humanities, uh, helping them put together infrastructure, but also to bring uh, algorithms that have been used, let's say in breast cancer, into being able to look at um, ancient artefacts so using the same kind of algorithms and unless you've got an interdisciplinary team doing that you're not going to get that kind of crossover from one uh, discipline to another. When you consider the modern big research problems they're all multidisciplinary. They need to bring together the expertise from various different domains because no single researcher these days can really be that in-depth knowledgeable about all of the different parts of the problem that they're going to interact with. We all have common problems, but we also have different approaches to those problems. Bringing people together from different fields opens up opportunities that you just normally wouldn't get if you were working in your own area. You know, we have had collaborations, not just within the university, but regionally and with other universities um, in the South uh, East region in particular, where we developed uh, eResearch South. And um, that whole collaborative effort is incredibly important and is very special, I think, to the centre. There have been a number of projects that I think have had uh, impact. For instance, I remember a project called Shibboleth that was around security for grids. And that turned out to be something that was rolled out into the standard um, access and uh, authorization mechanisms for uh, universities as a whole. So that had some impact that is invisible in a way, because it's not something that you see, but it is something that uh, we know was, was there. Overall, um, I'd say actually the project that's had the longest term most impact is actually the climateprediction.net activity. It's still generating high impact outputs, for example, our analysis of anthropogenic climate change and the floods of 1314, you know, something that ended up in nature, but also was something that actually got out into national media and was done in partnership, that experiment with The Guardian. The thing which makes the centre special is the way that it brings so many different people together from different disciplines, gets them to interact with each other in a way that wouldn't normally be possible, and from there you go on to achieve the most fantastic outcomes for research.
we did achieve having a truly interdisciplinary team here. I, when I was the director here, I loved going to get a cup of coffee because I never knew who I would be talking to in the coffee room. It might be a philosopher, it might be an astrophysicist, it might be a chemist, it might be a linguist. Um, and I think that has been really uh, fantastic. We are unique. We are the, we are the National Centre de facto because we're the only e-science centre that actually achieved liftoff, that achieved sustainability. It's, it's fabulous working in the centre because of the amazing people we have here. Uh, it, it, they are extraordinary and um, it's, it's a privilege to be working here basically. I am incredibly proud. I think it's uh, one of the things that I've done in my professional life that I am most proud of. I still think of the centre as my baby. I'm very proud of the staff who are still here, who were here right at the beginning um, because I think it's the staff that makes the centre and it's brilliant. Thank <laughs> you.